$10.3 million settlement reached in first COVID vaccine mandate class action suit involving healthcare workers. Chicago's North Shore University Health System today agreed to a $10.3 million settlement in the nation's first class-wide lawsuit for healthcare workers over a COVID-19 vaccine mandate. Scrolling down a little bit, we can see the article right here and under fair use, take a look at uh, what we have here. Today, Liberty Council settled the nation's first class-wide lawsuit for healthcare workers over a COVID shot mandate for more than $10.3 million. The class action settlement against North Shore University Health System is on behalf of more than 500 current and former healthcare workers who were unlawfully discriminated against and denied religious exemptions from the COVID shot mandate. The agreed upon settlement was filed today in the Federal Northern District Court of Illinois. As a result of the settlement, North Shore will pay $10,337,500 to compensate these health care employees who were victims of religious discrimination and who were punished for their religious beliefs against taking an injection associated with aborted fetal cells. This is a historic first of its kind class action settlement against a private employer who unlawfully denied hundreds of religious exemption requests to COVID-19 shots. The settlement must be approved by the federal district court. Employees of North Shore who were denied religious exemptions will receive notice of the settlement and will have an opportunity to comment, object, request to opt out or submit a claim form for payment out of the settlement fund, all in accordance with deadlines that will be set by the court. As a part of the settlement agreement, North Shore will also change its unlawful no religious accommodations policy to make it consistent with the law and to provide religious accommodations in every position across its numerous facilities. No position in any North Shore facility will be considered off limits to unvaccinated employees with approved religious exemptions. In addition, employees who were terminated because of their religious refusal of the COVID shots will be eligible for rehire if they apply within 90 days of the final settlement approved by the court and they will retain their previous seniority level. The amount of individual payments from the settlement fund will depend on how many valid and timely claim forms are submitted during the claims process. If the settlement is approved by the court and all or nearly all of the affected employees file valid and timely claims, it is estimated that employees who were terminated or resigned because of their religious refusal of a COVID shot will receive approximately $25,000 each and employees who were forced to accept a COVID shot against their religious beliefs to keep their jobs will receive approximately $3,000 each. The 13 healthcare workers who are lead plaintiffs in the lawsuit will receive an additional approximate payment of $20,000 each for their important role in bringing this lawsuit and representing the class of North Shore healthcare workers. Liberty Council will receive 20% of the settlement sum, which equals $2,061,500 as payment for the significant attorney's fees and costs it has required to sue North Shore and hold it accountable for its actions. 
This amount is far less than the typical 33% usually requested by attorneys in class action litigation. In October 2021, Liberty Council sent a demand letter to North Shore on behalf of numerous healthcare workers who had sincere religious objections to North Shore's mandatory COVID-19 vaccination policy. If North Shore had agreed then to follow the law and grant religious exemptions, the matter would have been quickly resolved and it would have cost it nothing. But when North Shore refused to follow the law, and instead denied all religious exemption and accommodation requests for employees working in its facilities, Liberty Council filed a class action lawsuit along with a motion for temporary restraining order and injunction. Liberty Council Vice President of Legal Affairs and Chief Litigation Counsel Horatio G. Mihet said, we are very pleased with the historic $10 million settlement achieved in our class action lawsuit against North Shore University Health System. The drastic policy change and substantial monetary relief required by the settlement will bring a strong measure of justice to North Shore's employees who were callously forced to choose between their conscience and their jobs. This settlement should also serve as a strong warning to employers across the nation that they cannot refuse to accommodate those with sincere religious objections to forced vaccination mandates. Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council said, this class-wide settlement Providing compensation and the opportunity to return to work is the first of its kind in the nation involving COVID shot mandates. This settlement should be a wake-up call to every employer that did not accommodate or exempt employees who opposed the COVID shots for religious reasons. Let this case be a warning to employers that violated Title VII. It is especially significant and gratifying that this first class-wide COVID settlement protects healthcare workers. Healthcare workers are heroes who daily give their lives to protect and treat their patients. They are needed now more than ever. Originally published at Liberty Council. Once again, the Liberty Council announcement is available at the Liberty Council website, which is lc.org, and I'll provide the link in the description. Other news agencies that picked up the story include Cranes, Chicago Business, North Shore to settle COVID vax mandate suit for $10.3 million, plaintiffs' lawyers say. And in the subtext, the Christian law firm representing employees of Evanston-based North Shore University Health System says employees were discriminated against when the system refused to accept religious exemptions to its COVID-19 vaccination mandate. Link in the description. And at the Sanford Herald, you have the story also, first settlement reached for healthcare workers in lawsuit filed over COVID-19 vaccine mandate. And as you can see right here, there is a picture of North Shore University Health System in the article. These articles, the links to them, and also archived links, because sometimes these articles tend to disappear, um, are available in the description of this video. And again, this is a major story, and there are a lot of major stories day to day, but this one in particular is one that I wanted to provide links to because this represents, once again, a first-of-its-kind class action lawsuit where we could see a swing in the pendulum. Current event headlines are definitely resembling themes 
in Bible prophecy. Repent and believe the gospel. You see, it says in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. That is the gospel message. Repent and believe the gospel. Current events and Bible prophecy 